Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod we have AK-5C, a Nordic Relic, it's an assault rifle mod, but we start out here with the quest. You gotta be here in the third rail, in Good Neighbor. We got this note here, just kinda right there on the bar. The Northern Shipment Rumors, we're gonna read this note. So, hey, I've heard rumors of a shipment from the North still being attacked on this ship, Northern Star or whatever it's called. I'm too afraid of the weird ghouls around here to check it out myself, but you're probably brave enough to take a look. Also, I've heard it's surrounded by old Nordic chemical weapons or something, so watch out. Best of luck, Safan, founder and president of BTL. So we'll take the note. Reminiscence, reminisces of a land far away. Find an untouched container. So that's the quest. We're going to look at what that is and then entails right here. Uh, let me mark that as our quest. Let me get rid of this one real quick. We're going to look at, that's on the wreck of the FMS North Star, which is obviously in the very bottom of the map. So obviously you kind of need to be equipped for this before you're even ready to do this kind of thing. You need to be able to get very far away and very south of the map, which means you're going to, you know, take a long distance. Got to be a decently high level character, but I am. So we're going to head there and I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, everybody, we're here at the ship. There's a marker down here. So we'll just head this way. There should be some raiders here. Usually that's a Meyer lurks underneath. It's kind of a weird, complicated place. Um... But we're gonna head in here. I forget exactly the way to get in here. What's going on? There's something going on up there, right? People are wigging out. Um, come on, dog. Let's go find us. See if we can figure out what's in here. Probably Meyer Lurks. Tanky Meyer Lurks for some reason. Can you stop being so tanky? That would help. God dang glowing Meyer Lurk eating it in the shell. This is why I need a better gun, you guys. This one isn't cutting it. Did you just knock my dog out in like one shot? That's kind of rude. Okay. My alerts are dead for the most part. It's not, I don't think it's underneath here, right? This is just where the my alerts are. We have to figure out the way up. And I'm eating a lot of rats. It's not in here. Okay. we got to figure out the way up. How do you get up, you say? Well, there's an elevator normally if you've been here before. And then it kind of causes some complications actually with the quest if you previously have been here. So you don't want to do that. There's a fusion board here though. Let me look up the different gun. Let me see what I got here. Just like an assault rifle, right? These guys are going to freak out. Okay, there's the fusion core. I forget exactly how to get up here, though. There's a way. You just got to go around, I think. Because it looks like the container's on this level, right? That's what they're saying, anyway. I hear, like, the Meyer or stuff. There's a container in here, yeah. Just hit fire. There's a container here. Letter from a friend. Let's read that. I should have read it. But now I have to go all the way in here and find it again. Um, letter from right here at the top. Easy. Read the letter. To whoever that reads this, I took the gun. If you want it, you got to come and get it. Meet me at the Gunner's Plaza on the roof. Okay, so the Gunners have the gun. The AK-5C is up on top of the Gunner's Plaza. I'm going to get out of here because obviously I'm in combat right now, so I cannot fast travel. But as soon as I can, I'll see you guys at the Gunner's Plaza. We'll have to work our way through some combat there too. And I'll see you when we get there. Alright everybody, we are here at the Gunner's Plaza. It's on the roof. There's like usually some tougher people up there. Usually there's tougher people all around here. Anyway, the Gunner's Plaza, like I said, this is a very high level thing. This whole entire thing, like I said from the beginning, this is not something you're going to be able to do from the very beginning of the game. Or have a very easy time doing from the beginning of the game. Obviously, if you just want to straight shot it up to the roof, you want to go up here. This is the fastest way, I think, to get up here. They don't really know that I'm here. They kind of figured it out, but you don't want to fight all those dudes in the front anyway. I mean, there's some nasty people up in here. Besides... The fact that one of them is obviously going to have the AK-5C, the assault rifle that you're looking for, which is an important p aspect, right? You have to track people, dead bodies, right? So if you shoot them from the front, their bodies can fall off and do weird stuff. You can see them easier from up here. Fusion core up there, if you care about that kind of thing. It's right here is the gun, the person with the gun. There's also some other nasty people around here. Do I have anything to be sneaky with? <laughs> I think that's the problem solver here. This is a suppressed thing. So what we could do... If you go for head, these commandos, right? Gunner commanders are nasty. Just to be honest with you, right? These guys are not going to go down very easy. Even with sneak attack criticals, that was not very quick. And then you have the gun. I need the gun. Shoot you in the face. He's got a name character. He's Leif Erikson, but he got the gun. And then you take it, right? He drops it. You can get it off his body, too, or whatever. All that stuff. Very easy stuff. He's got the gun. And then... One of these guys also has a tactical Goss rifle prototype. So if you have the Creation Club content, the tactical Goss rifle. That's here too. And that's a different quest. It's kind of a... 
unfortunate side effect of just the way that the mod works with another piece of Bethesda content that makes it so they're both up here. But they should not conflict, as you see. There should be a separate person. This guy, Leif Erikson, who has the AK-5C, which is an amazing assault rifle, which we'll get into here in a little bit. Let me just make sure. He has a special order here as well. I think we should read that. When normal isn't enough, we got to read the special order note. The special order here says... Hey man, I finished making some instructions on how to make a magazine that can store more bullets for that gun you found. I know it might look silly, but bear with me, it should work. You can pick it up at my desk in Vault 95 if I'm not to be found. Cheers, Tor. So, there's a way to make, you know, get attachments and magazines and stuff, because we'll see that. We're going to go customize the weapon in some, at a weapon workbench here real quick. But first of all, let's just take a look at the weapon. It's an assault rifle. It looks like an assault rifle. Looks like the AK-5C. It's a, it's a, I remember this gun specifically myself from, um... Battlefield 4, which it was like more, the starting carbine you could get in that game. For like the engineer, you get a fat man, you didn't even get to shoot it at me. Doesn't it suck to be you? Um, <laughs> but it's an assault rifle. It's got some mean kick on it. That's gonna be, this is me not touching the you know the right stick at all. It's just, that's, that's what it does. It's a fast rate of fire though. It just shoot what five five six bullets? Yeah, five five six. 127 fire rate is absolutely ass, and 185 range. Decent amount of accuracy, too, for just having iron sights and not really any kind of attachments on it. I'm going to get out of combat, and I'm going to find a way to get to a weapon workbench, and I'll see you guys when we get there. Hey there. So we're back here at my weapon workbench here. We got the hardened AK-5C. So it already starts with the hardened receiver. It's not standard or anything. Hardened here, 86 damage. Obviously, you want to put it at the most powerful version you can, which is calibrated powerful. You need gun nuts for that, which is not too much of extreme if you think about it, because like I was stating earlier, to go to the gunner's closet at all and handle that kind of combat situation, you're going to need to be towards the end of the game. Uh, or at least very high level. So having gun nut 3 is a very easy requirement. You should be able to do this right from the get-go. Um, you can do short, medium, or long barrel. This is your decisions here. It's like, do you want it close range and light? Or kind of in between, right? Because obviously you lose more and more hip and fire accuracy, but you get better and better recoil and long range. We're going to put a long barrel on there. I'll make it a long rifle. That's fine. You can also have a full stock, which is what this one came default. They can come differently default. I've seen different things with this. You could take no stock, um, which does increase its accuracy over the full stock. So I don't know why you take the full stock. Just because it looks cool, I guess, because it makes the weapon heavier and less accurate. But we want to put a full stock on there, obviously. Or no, we don't. It doesn't actually gain any accuracy or anything. It doesn't say recoil reduction or anything. Just put a no stock on there, and then why not? Uh, we can put a dual mag on from the default. Obviously, said. The note was talking about getting a bigger mag. We don't have a bigger mag currently. Um, flipped iron sights. We can do the glowing version of those in the regular iron sights. Your regular modern weaponry scopes, like your Aimpoint Micro T1, you know, lots of different red dot sights, you know, your medium range scope. There's another thing here that's going to be really long range. We'll put the, that's the longest range one we got on there. We got a flash hider on here by default. Muzzle brake suppressor, helix suppressor. They're identical, they just look different. As you see, the, the Helix Suppressor's kind of got like like a chopped off looking front end. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. I'm not an, a gun expert or anything. You can put little stickers on here. Um, like a face punch sticker, I guess. I don't know what, you know, most of these things I don't recognize. I mean, this is dedicated to Christina 1995. I don't know who that is, right? So that's irrelevant to me. And then the meatball, because it is a Swedish gun, right? Um, a Nordic relic or whatever. You could put a red wolf on there. I mean, you can put some things on there. You can look around these for yourself, the Swedish flag. The vault weeb. You could put a, the vault boy on there. The weeby looking one. You could put that on there. I know what that is, alright? But you could change the sight and stuff. As you see, all different kinds of reticles is the word I would guess I would look for here. Um, you could do half circles. You know, you could do crosses. You can do all that stuff in all different kinds of colors. And then you could put the dot in the middle of the different colors as well. The wrap here on the duct tape, right? You could change that color to black. You know, all different kinds of duct tape. You can do camo duct tape. You can do Swedish flag duct tape because duct tape is the most customizable cool thing in the entire world, right? Why not just make it go nuts? Um, I'm just going to go with regular duct tape looking duct tape. You can put a bayonet on here. Um, sharpened Allen key useful for stabbing and assembling furniture. So you can put a bayonet on there. Obviously, you do lose like range like for some reason. Every gun, you lose range and it's going to weigh a little bit more, but... I'm not a big preference on that. So you can put laser sights on here. A tri-laser because you're cool like that. And a laser flashlight combination. Cause, but there's, you know, you can change the fire mode here too. I'll just leave you see that over with. Um, it doesn't actually decrease or increase damage, which is like the greatest thing of all time. Because most automatic weapons in the game, just by nature of being automatic, but that's decided to balance them and be like, this is going to do less damage because it shoots more bullets faster. And it's like, well, I mean, what's the point then? This is the same. It's just your preference on which way you want to shoot. 
we could put some wraps on here. We could put a wrap on the grip, a little bit, some, right? You could put a lot of duct tape on there. And it costs a lot of adhesive, but you get, you know, there you go. My gun's covered in duct tape, if that's the kind of thing you're into. Um, we could also put things, like I said, on the left rail here. You could put the laser flashlight on both sides, or you could just do a tri-laser. I like the tri-laser, because it's like three dots. And then we'll put the flashlight on the right side. It just is a balance thing, right? And then we got the foregrip. You could put a standard grip or comfort grip. It increases firing stability and reduces recoil even more. It just increases accuracy. As you see, there's no negative to this. this is, I mean, besides a slight weight increase of a pound, I guess. Could you imagine that a, a foregrip weighs a pound? I don't think that's actually how they make grips. But whatever. For the sake of argument, we'll put the comfort grip on here because we wanted the maximum amount of accuracy. We could also put damage modifiers on the weapon. That's so if you enable this, you have to enable this from the get-go. So when you first download the mod, it will ask you a bunch of questions. This is one of the things you need to have enabled in order for this option to show up here. You can also change the zoom level um, to anything based off of whatever sites you want. And then we've got the worn scanner now. You can make it pristine or worn or damaged. We can make it pristine, a not so beat up version, and that will look kind of nice. You can also get skins through the weapon out the world. You can also enable that. When you first download the mod, I did not show that off, um, but that is there. That is an option for you to do. So we got our big long range scope. It's still not that long range, and I think I don't like the scope at all. I think it's big and cumbersome. Um, but they are what modern sites kind of look like. We're going to show off some of the other ones here real quick. Like, you know, a couple different red dots. You get your basic idea that some of these, are, I think, are better than others. This is a clear one, at least. You can kind of see that. Aim at things, shoot them, right? Um, I don't really necessarily have a preference site. Some of these, most of these, are I think, are too obtrusive of your vision. Um, so we get something like this, right? Like, this is just, like, too much sight for me. I don't know, like too much sight in the way of looking at things. Uh, but they are modern sites, and that's what this modern sites are supposed to look like. Probably the, the micro site is my favorite one, because it's just a dot, and it's clear. I mean, you can change all this stuff up, right? If you don't want this like dot with a circle, you can just make it a dot. But this is a very clear, easy-to-read site. I don't really even need this. I just need, like, give me my regular glow sites. I'm a big glow sites fan, so we'll just put iron sites with glow on there. Yeah, obviously, there is some scopes. Showed them all off to you if you guys are interested in that. So why don't we go get... get the bigger mag as a way to combat test the weapon. Glow sights. That's nice for me. That's good enough for me. I'm not ever a person to snipe. I left it on automatic. I want to just spray and play a little bit. Got a nice dual mag reload too. Because you actually flip the magazine like you're supposed to. Right? So that's kind of nice. The animation quality is a bigger important deal to me. So, we'll head down to Vault 95. And we'll see if we can find that plan for a bigger clip. And I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, here we are. We just took the elevator down in Vault 95. It actually worked this time, which is, you know, good news. You don't even have to worry about the tripwires. I only got two body pins, so you know what I'm gonna do? People are freaking out about that a little bit. Um, but we got longer magazine instructions. We take those. Probably wants us to read them. Look around for more instructions in the room. They're up here. I found these previously. This is a hard thing to get. There you go, more instructions. When normal isn't enough quest complete, so, let's also test this weapon out in some combat, because we're here, and there's a bunch of gunners here. I mean, we've already shot some gunners with it, and it's fine. Who's we know there? the weapon works. I don't know why that's not hitting. There we go. There it went. You just kind of spray. Get dead. There's a lot of gunners here. Let's use some bat shots, so you guys can see that. Take that turret out of here. Ooh, there's an assault on that. That's not good. You got the nice laser sight, though. That which was going to be necessary, because that lady was trying to melt my face off, and I don't, you know, approve of ladies trying to melt my face off. Anybody else in this particular room? Some people up here, maybe? Obviously, see, it's an assault rifle. It functions like an assault rifle. It's just got a decent amount of recoil and kick, right? Um, laser sight is nice. Hit fire is good. You know, it's covered in duct tape. That's what makes it a beautiful gun, too. Probably the most beautiful gun in the game, just because it's so, got so much duct tape on it. It's, it's a really important critical feature, right? That most guns just don't even understand the importance of, I would say. So let's go put the bigger mag on the gun and mess around with it some more. We'll talk about a few more things before we call it a video. So stick around and, well, it'll be like one second for you and I'll see you then. Okay. So we're here at the weapon workbench again. We should have a long magazine now. A very long magazine useful when you don't like reloading that much. Obviously, this is a silly thing. All right, this is a silly, ridiculous, huge kind of thing. 100 round mag. I'm gonna shoot off 100 rounds for you. Don't act like I'm not here doing this for you guys. I care about you. You guys wanna see me shoot 100 rounds in a row. And then you got like a special thing where you like look at the magazine. You're like, 
that's a big boy and then you put it in there right we'll show that reload again like oh man that's a big looking boy and then you slap it in your gun right that's pretty cool right obviously not very immersive this gun probably like no real gun could probably handle like a big 100 round clip in there that's just probably too fucking heavy or whatever but who cares it doesn't have to be realistic you guys it has to be fun and that is fun okay that's a really cool thing so another thing we have going on here with this particular mod is you have all the secret documents the radiated magazine the electric magazine the Sturm Sturmung can suppressor the magazine right there's some special stuff in here that you can get so you, you can choose when you load this mod up you could find you could add mark all these things on the map or you could choose not to you could decide okay I'm just gonna find these things on my own there's like something way out here in the glowing you see the radiated magazine that makes a lot of sense right I'm not gonna show off how to get all of these things you guys like I said if you guys want to know how to get them the easiest way to just slap the mark markers on and then go to them it gives you a chance to do quests to go get stuff with a gun um, I would like to get the electrical magazine though so we're gonna head here and we'll go here together um, there's also not just the magazines and stuff that's obviously attachments which provides a gameplay benefit but there is camels for the weapon and you can also choose when you first load the mod up to mark those things on the map as like a quest and then you can go find them for yourself and you have to go out in the world and find them i'm not going to show off all the camos and stuff i think you guys get what a skin looks like on a gun i mean that's like every video game ever nowadays is just slap a skin on it for microtransactions and stuff there's like two right next to each other right here but this is the general atomics electrical facility like so there's a robot facility and this sh should have the thing it should not hmm this is also the place you have to go for the, what is it, the DLC, the Automatron DLC later. But I don't think I've started that yet. This is going to be a weird thing. I don't know, like, I don't know how the sequencing works of this. I've never done this before, like, this weird out of order -y things. But Electrical Magazine sounds cool. So we're going to get that, maybe try that out, and then, you know, call it a video. This has been a long one, you guys. Thank you for sticking around if you stuck around this long. Let's see, where's the magazine? It says it's outside the door. Excuse me. Does it just say it's here? Or... Where did it go? Because, like, I had a marker in here, right? Like, it was telling me to come in this door? Are you a hostile, Mr. Handy? You look a little so hostile. I mean, there you go. That'll do. Oh, I forgot I had the huge hunter run clip. <laughs> okay. Don't have to reload as much. Is it here? It said it was here, right? Oh no, it's not. It's outside of here. I went the wrong way. My apologies. I will see you guys in a second when I actually figure out how to read a map. Oh, super mutants. Oh no, whatever will I do? I mean, this one's got to go down, right? I mean, they all technically got to go down, but the one that's going to blow up in my face is definitely the one that goes down first. Okay. The magazine is actually outside. I really like that long magazine reload. That's pretty banana nuts. It just got a really cool anime. Like I said, just the, the, the fact that you look at it. You're like, God damn, that's a big mag. And then, so it's on the boat out here. I don't know if, remember if this boat was out here or not. Okay, electric magazine. Permanently unlocked part of your AK-5C. We got that one. Let's go get the other one because it's nearby. We'll just, you know, do a couple little things here. Except for I just totally fell off the boat in the water. Which is fine. Oop. I've become, I've mutated and become electrically charged. Sweet. That's a different mod. We're like on some combo stuff. This is a big one, you guys. Right? This is a lot of things. I remember this part, though. This part of the water being a real nasty thing. Where you just have to, like, keep swimming all the way around. Okay. Which is fine, because it's actually close to where we needed to be. There should be bugs here, though. If I remember correctly. Somewhere around here, there's a lot of blood bugs and stuff. Well, this is the one with the ghouls. All right? This is the place with the ghouls and the tripwires and stuff. All right. Okay, ghoul. I mean, I could show off the weapons some more combat. I'm sure you guys don't mind. God, these are tanky ghouls. I mean, this is high level stuff. My character's like level 100, alright? This is like spawning in the tough, like some of the toughest stuff you can get spawned in in the game. That's why you need to hunt around mag for, though. Oh, I thought he wasn't dead yet. Is he dead? This one? He's, he doesn't have a leg anymore, so that's fine. Works itself out. I was always concerned with this. I was like, oh, I'm gonna walk over here around it, and it's fine. It is in here? It's technically on on the roof, right? We have to go in here to get on the roof? I think it's been a long time, you guys. I, I, I mean, like, I played a lot of Fallout 4 in my time, but I do not remember exactly every location and how the sequences and things work, right? Like, how to do things. It's got to be in here, right? Let's get up on the roof. Yeah, you go ahead and get angry, ghouls. Come for me if you like. 
Oh, I shot the dead one. God damn it. The 50 50 shot. Is this the way to the roof? No? Yeah, yeah, like you keep going around here. And you come out like here on the roof. No, there's a quantum back here though. I think charred ghoul. How do I get up on the. Do you have to like walk around? I swear to god, it's from the building. Withered ghoul. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll figure it out. More combat, though, for you guys to see. Just spray and pray from the hip. You got a big 100 around mag, you can do whatever you want. I'm a real boy! Okay, I'm going to try to figure this out. Okay, I figured out how to get up on the roof. I'm a smart person, alright? And then... It says it's in here? Excuse me? It's not even actually up on the roof? It says, because, like... It says there's a door right there, but there's not a door right there. Well, I mean, I also shocked it with electricity when it hit me, so that's pretty cool. What is going on here? Oh, hello, ghoul. More combat for you guys. You guys can't tell me that I didn't give you a bunch of combat. All right. Where is, why is it saying this is a doorway? This is not a doorway. I don't know. We're going to go back and just slap an electrical magazine on there. I'm not going to worry about figuring this one out. You guys can figure it out on your own, because I bet you're big, smart individuals are even smarter than me and can figure it out even faster than I can. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody, let's put on an electrical magazine. Obviously, we're going to get rid of long. It's got 30-round magazine. It's not going to be 100 anymore, which is kind of sad. But as you see, it's, like, literally electrical, right? Is it, like, literally glow? Yeah, it's, like, literally glowing with electricity. Can you see that? Let's see if we can reload and you can see it better. Like, you see that thing. It is literally electric. It's a little bit of weird animation there. Like, you're pulling it. I guess you're dropping it, and then you're pulling one off your chest, hypothetically, or whatever. So, let's go shoot some stuff with electrical stuff, though. We're kind of actually running low on bullets. <laughs> Let me see if I can just find some combat real quick, and I will shoot some stuff with electrical bullets, and we'll see. Okay, we're in my zombie arena arcade mode. Let's hop in here. Let's shoot some things with electrical bullets. Well, I still have electrical bullets to possibly use, right? <laughs> this is a possibility here that I run out of bullets in the middle of combat, which is fine. We'll try to, hopefully the electrical bolts are just so goddamn overpowered that it does not make a relevant difference, right? So, let's start the game. Let's spawn in some ghouls, because that'll just be fun. I, mean, I guess we shot ghouls already, but still. I guess we could go to the animal shop here real quick. Just in case, on the rare chance. That's a cool thing about the zombie arena cave, you can buy. Obviously, you have to hit this multiple times, though, but like, 200 caps for 100, 5, 5, 6 round is still a super good deal. So, even if you just want to buy ammo with this mod, it's a good way to do about it. There should be enough rounds now, though. Electrify. Doesn't seem to do a huge amount of extra damage. Is it like stunning him? I'm trying to see. Obviously, like I said, this is extremely high level stuff. It is like kind of stunning them. It like. If they get hit with the electrical effect, it seems to slow them down. Don't touch me, though. No. Bro, bro, stay in your own space, bro. But yeah, as you see, if you start getting rounds railed into people, they get like stunned. It looks like. I don't know if it does actually any extra damage, but it seems, yeah, it seems, it seems to paralyze them to an extent. Do some bad shots off in here. Apparently my kicker kicked his wig and I can't shoot it anymore when it gets paralyzed. It seemed to like stop because of that. I'm not sure if that was the deal or not. So again, running low on ammo being scared. Oh yeah, this is okay, this is fun. Where are they coming? Oh, they're coming from here. Okay. A legendary one. But as you see, with the electrical magazine you can stack off them. Those are cool things, obviously irradiated, all that other stuff. The electrical is I think the coolest one. Obviously you have to find all these for yourselves. You can have a good time with it. I'm having a good time with it. I think it's a very good assault rifle because it... Not only is it just a good assault rifle, which it is. It is a good assault rifle. We're going to back out of here. Um, it's also just like a, a bunch of quests, right? Because you get the quest for all the skins. You get the quest for all the attachments. You actually have to go out of your way to do it. Unfortunately, it's nothing you can get in the very beginning of the game. So it's not like you can design even like a whole playthrough around this gun. Because you're just going to have to be so late in the game before you can even get the gun. That it kind of becomes irrelevant. I wish there was a way to make the quest earlier on in the game. Maybe not the very beginning, obviously. Maybe we don't want to give characters, you know, right in the early game. But, like, we're talking late game stuff. The very south end of the map, the Gunner's Plaza, all these areas are difficult locations to fight through. You know, Vault 95 to go get the bigger magazine, all these things, right? Like, most of these locations are not listed anywhere where you can do this with even the first half chunk of the game, right? You gotta be at least level 30, 40, probably. Probably? So, it's a late game weapon, but it is a cool one. So... 
I highly recommend you guys check this mod out for yourselves. If you guys are interested in this mod, make sure to check out the top link in the description that we linked there to the Bethesda on that page. You can download this mod for yourselves. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like rating down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.